Hi and welcome to our session today. I'm Alex Gibson, the Director of Client Success here at Vertical in ANZ. And what I'm hoping to share with you today is some of the secrets to success in B2B marketing. Now to do that, I'm looking to use the example of what I describe as an integrated demand generation engine. A bit of a mouthful, but hopefully gives us some of those secrets to success. Now, to illustrate those and to talk through that in a practical sense, I'm thrilled to have with me one of our clients from Dell Technologies ANZ, Sandeep Angosh. Sandeep, lovely to have you here. Thank you, thank you. Absolute pleasure. Do you, do you mind introducing yourself to the audience? Right, uh, so as you said, I'm working with Dell Technologies for the past 11 years. I stayed in Singapore and worked in Singapore for first eight years at Dell. And then I came down to Australia and three years been working in this. I run the medium business for Australia and New Zealand market. I'm happy to be here with you. As we get into this, there's a lot we can cover. Um, you know, we've had the pleasure to work together for the last few years at least. Indeed. Uh, before we dive into all of what you've done, I'm really keen for you to set the scene a little bit for us to explain when you moved into this role. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about what the, what the scene was when you stepped into that and took on that mid-market role here? Uh, when I started three years ago in this role, so one thing, the company, we made a strategic decision to focus on this particular segment as we define mid-market in the market is all the company with full-time employees between 100 employees to 499 employees. So we wanted to pay some special attention, care and nurture them and grow them and help them become successful in their business. So we carved out quite a few motions, marketing motions, sales motions, and demand supply motions as well within the organization to support them with dedicated focus. To that, uh, everything was done in keeping in mind that customer is the center and we want to ensure the customers become successful. We did carve out a team, a sales team, which was dedicated and focused towards medium business or mid-market, we use these words interchangeably. And this is how we started. At the back of this, when we started looking into the profiles and the pain points of the customers, what are the areas they are looking for support from company like Dell Technologies can offer. Then we proceeded more to come up with the relevant content, relevant message, which will resonate with the customers, A, and B, which is much more important and consumable for them to understand what are we talking about. So that mid-market segment you described as 100 to 499, one of the reasons I was keen to chat to you is I think that's a really interesting segment because it's it sort is. of in the middle of what can be described as smaller businesses and growing enterprises. So it's certainly not a segment where every customer is the same, which is never the case anyway. But can you tell me a little bit about what you've done to try and understand and approach that real diversity of customers oh, you've yes. got? I think this is one of the most interesting part of my career journey at Dell Technologies, working in the mid-market segment. It's a very diverse market starting from 100 full-time employees to 499 full-time employees, the complexity keeps on increasing. And there are times that we need to work as separate sub-segments within the mid-market category as well. So this is interesting in a couple of points, the segmentation, the messaging that we put out in the market, the consumption behavior, consumption pattern for the customer, and the profile of co companies this mid-market company serves is different as well as the scale towards the higher end of 499. It's really interesting to have to dive in and understand messaging that's relevant across very diverse segments. Yeah. Can you take us through a little bit about how you did that, how you are arrived at a message or messages that would be relevant across that Well, it's an audience? ongoing journey. Yeah, it doesn't stop, right? It doesn't stop at all. And it's an ongoing journey. As I said, mid-market ranges from 100 full-time employees to 499 full-time employees. It's a diverse set. It's a diversity where there's a lot of fragments, a lot of sub-segments within this medium business uh, bucket, as we call it, or the segment as we call it, right? So first thing we did, uh, we did uh, launch quite a few research with uh, quite a few research agencies to understand the different personas and profiles of users and customers they are serving. That helped us to understand what is the relevant solutions they're looking for, what kind of products they're looking for, what kind of form factors of a product they're looking for. 
What's their working mode? Are they working remote? Are they working from home? Are they going to offices? Are they all of the above? All of the above, <laughs> mostly, which is the case. Yep. Uh, so we wanted to understand that. And then also there was a time three years ago we were talking about data protection, security. We still do, but GDPR compliance and GDPR data security was the top of mind for everybody. So we started to approach mid-market with first messaging around security, talking about how do we ensure that information that you collect from your customer is protected and it stays in some sort of systems, be it a laptop, desktop, or server, or storage. It's a lot of message, right? You've got a lot of, a lot of content, a lot of uh, yeah, different types of communications. And to me, a really big challenge there is how you get the right message to the right people in that audience, because you know, you've identified these personas, you've got a wonderful overarching message with right. then lots of layers beneath it. Right. To be able to get that message across effectively to that real, really wide audience, where did you start? The advantage of working for Dell Technologies and a company like Dell Technologies is we have been in this business for over 30 years. We, are, we have reached out to customers directly and we are ensuring customers are successful through whatever we deliver and support them with. So our first starting point was looking inside, looking into our information and database, understand what is the needs and the wants of this medium business segment in this market. As with that premise in mind, we started looking into our data, understanding the consumption model, uh, what are they looking for, how can we solution that, then we, on top of that, overlaid with market information. So that helped us to ensure that we are targeting customers in an account-based marketing. We were not there back then, but we were like account-based messaging. Mm -hmm. And that's what we did. So from a data perspective, you've, you've really covered, I think, in a lot of depth, how we understand the customer. Flipping that around, being mm -hmm. able to then engage that customer. How do you do that from a data perspective, Sandeep? Interesting. So. Our first go-to-market approach was based on our database, if customers have given us the permission to contact them via email or via phone. So we would be then uh, doing that right appropriate channel of messaging based on the permission that we have. And we would be sharing with them the relevant information. We started off with uh, sharing a welcome and uh, greetings from uh, the general manager of the business. Followed by that, we shared with them relevant content like case studies, infographics, white papers, technical papers, with a strong call to action, please talk to us. And we are, gonna, we are here to help you. We're gonna provide you with the right sets of consulting solutions and support. We did that via email, via phone call, and then we started scaling it up to digital media. We looked into the publishing houses, the big names in this world, and then started to do online advertisement, placing banners in different websites and understanding on the basis of that, the consumption, what are the banners customers are looking at and providing the relevant messaging on these publishing houses. We started looking into social media, mostly LinkedIn, and then because LinkedIn, we have the professional people out there and that helped us to reach out to them with the relevant sponsored content which would be helping them to understand what Dell Technologies can offer them as a solution. Can, can you take me through a little bit about that, how you approached the need to service this sales team you were talking about that are focused on the mid-market? How did you start generating demand for them? What was the approach there? So first of all, let's talk about that. Uh, we already have a fantastic and a very strong sales team. Now we wanted to get a team of specialized sales makers who would be helping the medium business customers. So first thing we did with them is talking to them, making them understand this particular segment is very unique, very diverse, and how to cater to their needs and wants. And followed by that, uh, we then launched when we started doing the demand generation activity. Uh, we always in our marketing communications used to have a strong call to action and requesting customers to reach out to us so many a times customers were obliging to that, reaching out to us, and we were engaging with them. In terms of generating that demand and making sure it was 
aligned with sales expectations and the, the two organizations mm. or two parts of the organization were aligned there. How did you approach that? So sales and marketing in this part of the business, which I run, uh, works hand in glove. So what I ensure that sales, we do have a strong 360 feedback loop mechanism. So sales would be commenting on the marketing initiatives and marketing would be sitting on all the performance reviews of sales as well. We also ensure that we do deliver leads which are of a certain quality. So when sales receives a lead per se, they know how did we generate that lead, what was the channel it brought them to us. We also look into do the customer have available information to offer, like they have a project in mind, if they have a certain time frame by which they want to execute that project. All this information comes handy for our sales to take the conversation further. So you're delivering a particular level of quality. Are there any SLAs for sales to follow? Anything that they have to deliver back to you, apart from giving feedback as such? Once we generate a lead, it is on the basis of a customer is willing to talk to somebody in sales. So we measure our time to contact from the lead that has been generated. And we measure that very closely, ensure that it has to be as quickly as possible. And then customers should be getting most of the relevant information within the first phone call itself. What's your approach to partnerships from a marketing perspective? As a marketer, how do you choose your partners? Uh, the key to a marketer's success is sales. If sales can really appreciate the value that marketing brings in, that's where marketing is successful doing their job. The second partnership that happens with marketer engaging with different agencies, marketing agencies, creative agencies to work with. There are fantastic brands within these agencies who can give in good creative ideas, solutions, bring in new innovative thinking to reach out to the customers, engage with them. I'm very happy to say that uh, Vertical has been great uh, in terms of supporting medium business at ANZ. Uh, thank you, Alex, for that. You guys are pretty strong in the understanding the database, the data-driven marketing approach, right? And all the motions that you have supported us on the telemarketing, email marketing, digital marketing front really helped us. And that, uh, as I said, is a testament of our success as well. On top of that, I would say that it's important to build trust and confidence with your partners. We need to take calculated, calculated risks to ensure that we are delivering the best possible solution to our customers, yet not digging a hole in our pocket. I always start with looking at the message, looking at the vehicle that I want to use for, to go to with market, and then engage with partners, those who are pretty strong on those domain areas. Stepping along just slowly, with those partnerships that you establish, how do you keep your partners accountable from an agency perspective? Communication is the key to ensure uh, the partnership is working fine. Transparency is very important, and that also brings in the element of credibility and trust. And then we do have weekly or regular reporting, which will ensure that partners are delivering as per the KPIs. And should the partners need any support from Dell, or that they do get that as well. So what we've talked about so far, Sandy, is how you got things up and running when you really came into that role, or right. what you did when you got started in the role. Uh, quite a wide range of things. As we bring it back to that demand generation engine, once it kicks off, you've got to keep it going, you've got to keep feeding it, you've got to scale it, you've got to grow. Tell us about that. How did you keep things moving? What happened next? We didn't want to come across as the beginner's luck that we kicked off pretty strong, but then we have to ensure that we are maintaining the momentum. So that also means the numbers, we need to keep an eye on our ROIs. At the same time, we need to look at the relevancy of our content that we put out in the market. Again, what happened, the data became front and center of our conversation. We started looking even in much more depth and granular detail on the various segments within our data, their purchase pattern, their intent score, online behavior, marketability, how much can we reach out to them. And, and I assume that includes just trying to reach more people as well, right? Expanding that reach within that as you understand that data exactly. better? Exactly. Yeah. As a marketability is how can I reach to more and more people with the right relevant content. So with that, uh, we started looking into more mining the data and understanding the data even more. 
and reaching with the relevant message and content to much more broader spectrum. While doing so, we looked into the efficacy of our various vehicles that we adopt. Is email really working for them or are we sending it a bit too many times? So we did a bunch of A-B testing, what works well. We looked into is telemarketing the right approach if it is not scaled down on that approach. Is the digital media the way to go? Online advertisement, what kind of message is working fine with that? We looked into that as well. Is social media the right approach? What social media is it? LinkedIn or Instagram, Facebook, where is most of our customers spending a lot of their time? We didn't forget about our own DellTechnologies.com. How can we leverage the DellTechnologies.com website which gets millions and millions of traffic on a regular basis? We put out a dedicated page with lots of content, free to download shareable assets. We have put in a lot of videos, customer references, case studies, expert talk series. We brand them as Tech Talks. And we launched a webinar series. Dell Technologies is successfully running that webinar series in India. They, call, they used to call it Coffee with Dell. They're still running it very successfully. And we took that name, brought it in Australia, and we started Coffee with Dell. And in Coffee with Dell, we get experts from the industry. They have a fireside chat, talk about various ongoing projects, as well as live Q&A, customer meetings. So we have done quite a few such webinars. We have been doing it for close to two years now. Must have been challenging though. You know, you make it sound like pretty smooth sailing, right? <laughs> what, what are the challenges? Or was it just all almost too easy? We wanted to ensure that our data is not dated. Then we started working with sales to make the team much more agile, nimble, supple, so they would be able to respond to customer much more quicker than the commercial and the enterprise business that we were doing it. Third, getting the agencies to work that quick as well and deliver results quickly is it was lots of fun from the agency. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> indeed, and you guys did a good job. So that is uh, the key to success in this segment would be understand your customer and that understanding happens through the data. That's what we were talking about at the start, right? Secrets yeah. of success, that's, that's one. That's understanding indeed. your customer. <laughs> so how, how did you get there having tried all these different things out, integrating it, and then was there any benefits in doing that? So as I said at the beginning and many a times, data, data, data. We tested out various creatives, various vehicles in the market to figure out what works and what doesn't. And that's how we launched this, uh, understand the, what kind of vehicles, what kind of creative, what kind of target audience works, and then wrap it around in an integrated marketing approach. So, so it sounds like a beautiful sort of outcome, but is it measurable? The conversion rate goes up with the message getting integrated. We kept it a singular or maybe two message focus in the market, driving security, driving efficiency. That helped us to generate quality of leads, with, which was converting in a much greater rates compared to running a single channel, non-integrated approach. Looking at all those different things you've done, are there maybe two or three other things you can share around what are the secrets to building out this integrated demand engine? The so branding is very important. Yeah. Driving the you know, right perception message is very important. Yeah. Second, we spoke about knowing your customer is most important, I would say. Keeping in mind, we are running this business to serve customers and so that eventually they grow and thrive and deliver the goods for their end customers as well. Point number three, risk-taking abilities is very important. And keeping a very honest accountability of all the marketing campaigns, be it messaging, be it adopting a particular vehicle, with omni-channel strategy or partnership, we need to be very accountable. Fantastic. Well, mate, thank you very much. Uh, I you. can't thank you enough for the amount of time you've spent you know, going through what I think has been a really interesting experience. Um, it's been very, very successful. And I, I really think that uh, Dell Technologies, massive global brand, the types of steps you've talked to, I think are applicable to any B2B brand, right? A, a B2B marketer out there, I would expect, can pick that up and say, right, these are secrets to success. So again, thank you very much. Really appreciate you coming, coming down and having a chat to us. Um, have a lovely Pleasure. day. Thank yeah. you very much. Cheers. And again, thanks to our audience for joining us. 
Hope this has been worthwhile and hope that promise of secret success has come through. Cheers. <laughs>